Coming soon to VHS and DVD. Premiering only on DVD and video. An adventure of epic proportions. For a hero as big as a mouse. Stuart, it's a long drive. Did you go potty? Mom! Stuart Little is hitting the trail. Hey, Snowbell, y'all ready for our vacation? You call spending the summer in a cabin in the woods a vacation? I call it cruel and unusual punishment. And he'll show everyone he can make it on his own. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you around the next bend. Forgive me if I'm not overwhelmed with confidence. Stuart Little 3. Don't miss all the outrageous fun with Stuart. There's nothing like the great outdoors. Snowbell. I've seen cleaner litter boxes. Monty. Please. Stuart's newest pal, Rico. Slap my tail and call me stinky. And the entire Little family in their wildest adventure yet. You don't want to eat me. I taste terrible. I should know. I lick myself every day. Pathetic. <laughs> Featuring the voices of Michael J. Fox, Gina Davis, Hugh Laurie, and Wayne Brady. If you're looking for big excitement, <laughs> glad to be a source of amusement, go Little. Stuart Little 3, premiering only on DVD and video. Yippee! Now available on VHS and DVD. A magical world of adventure and discovery is now yours to own on VHS and DVD. Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment has an extraordinary collection of some of the most fun-filled and educational family programs ever. Can you believe it? JJ the Jet Plane, The Berenstain Bears, Dragon Tales, Maggie and the Ferocious Beast, and the magical adventure of imagination, Harold and the Purple Crayon. <laughs> Zoom through life lessons, soar to new heights in learning, and let your imagination take flight. I like that idea. With JJ the Jet Plane. What a ride! <laughs> Based on the best-selling children's book series of all time. Welcome to Bear Country. From Stan and Jan Berenstain, bring home the Berenstain Bears. Oh, they're so cute. Seen daily on public television and now featured in all new classic tales. A real it's the hit show, Dragon Tales. I wish, I wish with all my heart to fly with dragons in a land apart. From Sony Pictures Entertainment and the creators of Sesame Street. Come on, everybody. Join Emmy, Max, and their dragon friends as they explore the magical world of Dragonland. It's fantastic. There's Cassie, Or, Zack and Wheezy, and Quetzal. Your wish will come true. From award-winning Nelvana Studios, join a smart girl named Maggie. Hello! Her playful pals. Oh, boy! And the not-so-ferocious beast. Oh, beast. In a place called Nowhere Land. Based on the beloved children's book, Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. And it was fun! One of the most popular children's books of all time has finally come to life. Imagination and his purple crayon are all Harold needs to take you to brand new worlds of fantasy and make-believe. Crockett Johnson's classic, Harold and the Purple Crayon. These award-winning, educational, and fun-filled titles can be yours to watch again and again. Own the excitement on DVD and video. This I gotta see. You can own the adventure of the Swan Princess on DVD. In a magical land, Odette and Derek were about to live happily ever after. Arrange the marriage. <laughs> until Rothbart's evil spell threatened it all. As soon as moonlight leaves the lake, you turn back into a swan. Where is Odette? Now, to get Odette back, Derek and his friends will have to face a sorcerer of unspeakable power. There is danger around us. They'd hurt us if they found us. Our backs are to the wall. No fear! No way, Jose! No chance! No choice. No fear! With Jack Palance as Lord Rothbard. That is mine. John Cleese as the voice of Jean Bob. I'm open! I'm open! And Stephen Wright as Speed. Get moving, Slowpoke. The Swan Princess on DVD. And the adventure continues. The Swan Princess faces a new danger. But with the help of Prince Derek, 
and a few old friends. They'll defeat an evil sorceress. <laughs> You'll never get away with this. Whoa! You gotta get out of here, Odette! I've fought the Forbidden Arts before, but I am not going to lose Odette. The Swan Princess and the Mystery of the Enchanted Treasure. And also available for the first time on DVD, The Swan Princess, where it all began. Course. What? What's an obstacle? An uh, obstacle. We see how fast we can run around the pond. But to make it more fun, we have to walk on top of my dragon balance beam. Crawl through my tunnel. Swing on my vine. Since flying isn't allowed, we have to bounce up in the air. Bounce? Huh? On my mushaline. Whee! Whee! Go! You did it! I can't wait to try that. And then we run back to where we started. I get it. Let's play. Wait, Max. I have an idea for something we can add to the obstacle course. Do you want to help me, Max? Sure. Come on! Go grab the other end of the rainbow. This is lighter than it looks. And bring it over here past my end. Okay, now we can swing on Wheezy's vine to the top of the rainbow and then slide down to Cassie's mushaline. Looks pretty shaky to me. Love it! We're done! Time for fun! Let's race! Me first! No, me first! Me first! Me first! Me first? Me first! Did I hear somebody call out my name? <laughs> Ooh. 
Hi there. I'm me first. The wizard. Thanks for inviting me to play. Hey, no cuts. <laughs> 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 This guy's racing around our obstacle course. Don't worry, Lord. It'll be your turn next. <laughs> Yahoo! Whoopee! Whoopee! <laughs> um, Mr. Me First, could we please use our obstacle course now? Me first! Me first! <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's been on there long enough. It's our turn. Me first! Me first! Excuse me, but we built this. He's not even listening to what we're saying. Me first. Me first. Me first. Me first. When do we get to go on our obstacle course? When we get me first off of it, I guess. How? Me first. Me first. We'd better ask Ketzel. I agree. <laughs> me too. Me three. Hop aboard. <laughs> Here it is, niños. Me first is a selfish wizard who always goes first because he doesn't know how to take turns. How do we get him to let us take our turn? This magical chant should send me first back to his pond. Me first, me first, go away. That's not the way friends play. That's easy. Me first, me first, go away. That is not the way friends play. But Me First is a two-word wizard. The chant will only work if each one of you says two of the words in it. I'm sure we can do that. Buena suerte. Me First! Me First! Me First! Me First! Okay, remember Quetzal said each of us should say two words of the chant. So who says the first, Me First? Let me say it. Me. I'll do it. I will. Me first. Uh-oh. Me first is what started all the trouble. So how do we decide who goes first? Hmm. We could line up according to height, from shortest to the tallest. Okay. Everyone behind me. No. I'll always be last. Unless we go backwards, tall to short. Then I'll always be last. I have an idea. The one who picks the shortest stick goes first. Okay, I'll say the first two words of the chant, me first. Who's next? Whoever tosses one of these pebbles closest to that rock goes next. Zach, you get the blue one. Wheezy, the red. Hmm, I like the spotted one. And I'll take the green one. I'm the yellow one. Everyone ready? One, two, three. Toss. The green one's closest. That's me. I'll say the second me first. <laughs> I know a way to choose who goes next. Whoever picks the spotted pebble from my pouch goes next. <laughs> me first. Me first. Huh. Me first. <laughs> yeah, that tickles. I'll say, go away. I love this course. We better hurry up. We've still got to decide who will say the rest of the chant. Pick again. Mix them all up well. <laughs> Ord, you can go first. You didn't pick a pebble last time. 
Me first. Me first. Oh boy! I got it! I get to say, that's not. How many words are left to say? Let's see. Me first, me first, <laughs> go away. That's not the way friends play. So who goes after me? Zach or Wheezy? Hmm, how about a fire-breathing contest? Longest flame goes next. But you've got a bigger mouth. Do not. Do too. Oh, brothers. <sighs> and sisters. I have a dragon coin. One side has a dragon head on it, the other a dragon tail. Wheezy, call heads or tails. Heads! It's a dragon tail. Then I'm the one who says, the way. Okay, I'll go last and say, friends play. Me first. Me first. Time to send me first back into the pond. Everyone remember the two words? Uh-huh. Let's do it! Me first. Me first. Go away. That's not the way. Oh, no! Friends, play! <laughs> Look, we took turns. We all did. Now we can play on our obstacle course. <laughs> Wait, not everybody at once, one at a time. No one wants that me first wizard to come back. Let's take turns. Yeah, we don't want me first back in our, um, um, obstacle course. You said it, Max. Obstacle course. So who goes first? That's easy. Let's go in the same order. Me first. <laughs> Me first. Go away. That's not <laughs> the way. Friends play! <laughs> <laughs> I wish to use this rhyme to go back home until next time. The wind isn't blowing so hard anymore. We can fly our kite. Me first. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Max. Hi, Emmy. How'd practice go? Great. I'm definitely ready for the big game in Dragonland. Swish. I can't wait to watch you play. You could play too, you know. Next year, after I grow some more. The basket's still kind of high for me. I know, it's dragon-sized. <laughs> <laughs> Game time! I wish, I wish with all my heart to fly with dragons in a land apart. Emmy and Max! Just in time! The big dragon basketball game's about to start! We're really gonna need your help, Emmy, especially since Cassie won't be able to play. Oh. I stepped on a thorn in Thistle Ridge Meadow. It hurts when I run. You and me can be the cheerleaders, Cassie. Right! We're playing against the school by the lake, and they're supposed to have the best team around. Not anymore, because they don't have Emmy. She's a superstar. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but I've been practicing really hard. 
I can't wait to get onto the court. That's the spirit, Emmy. I'm glad to see you are all excited about the game. Now come, your opponents are waiting. Hooray! Let's win! Just remember, niños, while it is nice to win, just play your best and have fun. Here you go, Mookie. Everybody, we'll score this time. Almost. Almost? You missed that one by a mile. Yeah, who taught you how to shoot? I guess nobody. <laughs> <laughs> them, Emmy. They're just trying to get you upset so you won't play your best. You're right, Lorca. Besides, we're here to have fun. Go, team, go! Go, team, go! to do when they're laughing in my face. Maybe you ought to tell them how you feel again. Yeah. Maybe I didn't make myself clear the first time. Look, you guys, we're all here to play the game and have fun, so I'd really appreciate it if you would stop saying those mean things to me. <laughs> She's not just a really bad shooter and the worst shot blocker of all time. She's a crybaby, too. <laughs> cry, cry, baby, cry, baby. Cry, baby. <laughs> Time out, please. Ketzel, Mookie and Buster have been teasing me and calling me names the whole game. And I asked them to stop twice. And that was the right thing for you to do, Emmy. You handled the difficult situation very well. But they just kept on teasing me even more. Then you also did the right thing by walking away. Well, I can't walk away forever. I want to play. But how do I make Buster and Mookie stop teasing me? Tease them back! Tell them they are stinky feet and they run like turtles and... I'm afraid that won't solve anything, Max. I still say they just want you to get mad so you won't play well and they can win. I don't know the reason that Buster and Mookie are name-calling and teasing, Emmy. But I do know that they will stop only when they realize it doesn't bother her. But it does bother me. Their teasing hurts my feelings. How am I supposed to stop my feelings from being hurt? <sighs> that can be very difficult to do, Emmy. But one way to protect your feelings is to remember that what they're saying is not true. They told me that I can't make a basket and that I wasn't a good shot blocker. But you are good at those things, Emmy. Exactly! That's right. I am. You're a much better shooter and shot blocker than Wheezy, for instance. And that means you're four times as good as Zack, because I'm twice as good as he is. What? Anytime you want to play me one-on-one, -on -one, Wheezy. Sure, Zacky. Hey, we could even play a doubleheader. You're on! Uh, a doubleheader? <laughs> good one, Wheezy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I feel a lot better now. Come on, guys. Timeout's over. Have fun. Whoa, the game is really close. 14 to 12. If we play really, really hard, we could win. Win? Love it. Let's show these guys what we're made of. 
bother me, because I know that I'm just the right size. <gasps> go, Abby, go! Way to go, Abby! You tied the game! I told Mookie and Buster that their teasing and name-calling didn't bother me, and they didn't know what to do. Good for you, Emmy. The score is 14 to 14, niños. We are going into overtime. What's that mean? It means the next team to score a basket wins! And in Dragon Basketball, it also means the rules change a bit. You see, during overtime, flying is permitted. Love it! I don't love it. I can't fly. Oh, yeah. Flying isn't everything. Trust me. Remember what I told you at the start of the game, Emmy? What's truly important is to play your best and have fun. Ha ha! You can't fly, you can't soar up to the sky! <laughs> They're right. I, I can't. You can't fly, you can't fly, you're gonna lose the game and cry. <laughs> <laughs> They're teasing me again. Don't pay any attention, it's still our ball. But just do like before, Emmy. Try not to let their teasing bother you. Well, I don't want it to. I mean, when they tease me about my shooting and my blocking and my size, I could stop letting it bother me because I knew they were wrong. This time, they're right. I can't fly. But I have an idea. Love it! Come on, Emmy, show him your stuff. You're a superstar. Superstar? Ha! Stars soar way up in the sky, and you can't even fly across the court. You're right, I can't fly, but I know someone who can. Swish! Yeah! She's not just a superstar, she's a shooting star. We won! We rule! We're number one! Love it! We ought to celebrate! We can go back to my house for pie and cake and ice cream, and if there's room, dessert. <laughs> Good game. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, let us have it. You're gonna tease us back now, right? I could, but I won't. Because I don't like hurting other people's feelings. I came to play my best and have fun. <laughs> Congratulations, felicidades, niños. You played very, very well. I knew it all along. With Emmy on the team, there's no way we could lose. It's wonderful that our team won, but it's even better that Emmy didn't let Buster and Mookie ruin the game for her. And maybe those name callers learned a lesson and won't do it again. Uh, I wouldn't count on that, Ord. It's all your fault, Mookie. Me? You're the worst player I've ever seen. Then look in the mirror, cause you're way worse than I am. Am not. R2. Am not. R2. <sighs> Perhaps Buster and Mookie will learn someday. I wish, I wish to use this rhyme to go back home. Looks like we've got two superstars in the family.
Hola, Max and Emmy. Hi, Enrique. Hola. ¿Qué están haciendo? I'm looking for chalk. And I'm looking for my lucky hopscotch rock. Found it! I've heard of hopscotch. How exactly do you play? We'll teach you when we get to Dragonland. I wish, I wish with all my heart to fly with dragons in a land apart. You're cold! Oh, oh, getting hotter! Hi! They had Wheezy Snoot Flute, and I have to find it. We're playing hot and cold! I know that game. You say hot the closer Cassie gets to what she's looking for, and cold when she gets farther away. Right! And Cassie is smoking hot! Found it! We played that game in Colombia, too. Except we called it Caliente y Frío. Hey, that's Spanish for hot and cold. See, si, see, si, Max. Hi, Max. Hi, Emmy. Hi, Enrique. Are you okay, Ord? No. Quetzal's teaching us numbers in Spanish, and I'm having a really hard time learning them. Maybe I can help you, Ord. Emmy and I can help, too. We know lots of Spanish. Numbers are easy to learn. Not for me. What you need to do is play a fun game to take your mind off schoolwork. And now that everyone's here... Hopscotch time! I brought chalk. I have my lucky rock. See, what you do, Enrique, is you make nine squares and number them one to nine. Then you toss a rock into square one and then hop over your rock in square one and hop from square to square until you get back to the start. Pick up your rock and start again, this time with square two. I thought you didn't know hopscotch. <laughs> I don't. In Colombia, we called it rajuela, and we only used eight squares, and we called out the numbers while we hop. In Spanish, of course. Why don't we play rajuela? It'll be fun and might help Ord learn his numbers. You mean I have to say all the numbers in Spanish when I jump? Absolutely! We all do! Okay, so that's eight squares, not nine. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho! Oh. Everyone knows their numbers in Spanish except for me. Don't worry, Ord. By the time we finish playing, you'll know them too. Repeating words over and over is a great way to learn. Well, if it'll help, I'll try. And I do like hopscotch. With my lucky rock, I don't even need to look. It'll end right in the box. Uh, Max? <laughs> The numbers are gone! That rock doesn't seem so lucky to me. <laughs> it's Norm the Number Gnome. And he has all the numbers for my Rajuela game. No fair! Give them back! Four, three, two, one. Don't I get to have some fun? Well, do you want to play Rajuela with us? Nope. I like your other game. A Hot and Cold, was that its name? Yes, but... That's the game I like a lot. I'll hide the numbers, tell you when they're cold or hot. You hide the numbers and we have to find them? I guess that does sound like fun. I have an idea. We can use this game to help Ward instead. Really? Okay. Love it! The first two numbers, believe it or not, are very near. You're getting hot. So numbers one and two must be here in the playground. Hey! Look, Wheeze! Uno! <laughs> now that is one swinging number! Now we have to find number two. It, dos. Dos. I wish there was some kind of fun way to help me remember that dose is two. 
Yeah, that's a tough one. I have a way. Think of a rhyming word. Adios. You're leaving, Emmy? <laughs> no. Adios is a Spanish word that rhymes with dos. But adios means goodbye in Spanish. Right. So maybe a good way to remember dos is to think of two hands waving adios. And adios rhymes with dos. Two hands waving adios. Adios rhymes with dos. <laughs> Numero dos. Two down. Six more numbers to go. This playground search is getting old. Look someplace else because you're cold. Numbers three and four. I sure wish I could remember them in Spanish. Or sometimes when I want to remember difficult things, I make up a song. How do you use a song to remember Spanish numbers? Three and four are tres y cuatro, tres y cuatro, tres y cuatro. Three and four are tres y cuatro, tres y cuatro. <laughs> Let me try. Three and four are uh, tres y cuatro. Quattro, trezi, quattro, three and four are trezi, quattro, trezi, quattro. <laughs> that is a good way to remember numbers, Cassie. <laughs> we found three! I mean, three! Way to go, you two. Number four, uh, quattro, must be here somewhere. I have some news you'll like a lot. You are now getting very hot. Look, everyone, cuatro. Don't you dally. Don't you know you still have four more numbers to go? Can't you give us a hint? You want a hint? Then you should go near the place where mushrooms grow. Mushroom Meadow! been looking and looking. Yeah, no numbers on any mushrooms. Or under any mushrooms. Wait a minute. Norm said near the place where mushrooms grow. You guessed the spot. <laughs> You're getting hot. Marshmallow Marsh, everyone. I spy with my little eye. Cinco! We found it just in time. It was gonna sink. Cinco, sink? <laughs> hey, if I picture number five about to sink, I'll remember Cinco. Okay, so we have three more numbers to find. Six, seven, and eight. Ses, siete y ocho, Ord. I'm still working on remembering the first five numbers in Spanish, Emmy. What's that? You're getting hotter. You should go where trees of dandelions grow. Dandelion forest. Why don't we fly there? Why don't we practice the numbers in Spanish from uno to ocho while we fly, Ord? Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. <laughs> Repeating words makes them easier to remember. Let's do it again. Sure, or yeah. yeah. Oh, hey. Uno, Uno, dos, tres, seis, and siete. No, Ward. Cuatro comes after tres. No, I mean I see seis and siete. <laughs> yeah. That means we only have one more number to go. <laughs> it's very far that you have come, so go back to where you started from. The school in the sky playground? We looked everywhere. No number eight. Maybe we counted wrong, and we already found all the numbers. Hmm. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Nope. 
No ocho. Hey, Ord, look how high you just counted in Spanish, all by yourself. I did, and it made me really hungry. I'm gonna have a dragonberry muffin. <laughs> What's on my muffin? It's Ocho, number eight. No wonder we were hot. We would have been hot wherever we were because Norm hid it in Ord's pouch. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding numbers sure was fun. Thanks for playing, I have to run. Ketzel, guess what? I learned my Spanish numbers all the way from one to eight. That's wonderful, Lord. I learned rhymes to help me remember some, and I imagined pictures to remember some, and I sang a song to help remember some, and I repeated them all a lot, and, and, and my dragon badge is glowing. <laughs> I wish, I wish to use this rhyme to go back home until next time. What are you doing, Max? I left my lucky rock in Dragonland, so I have to pick out a new one. All right. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. To learn more about Dragon Tales, visit PBS Kids at pbskids.org. Emmy wished on a dragon scale, and that's what started Dragon Tales. They climbed on the backs of their dragon friends, now the adventures never Fruit Loops is proud to sponsor programming that stimulates children's growth and sense of adventure. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, where they think fun and learning with friends is a big part of what makes life great. This program is funded in part by a Ready to Learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education through the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.